1.85. Here we have a couple of fetal pigs on the right hand side, or over here we have a female, and over here on the other side we have a male. We'll be using both of these for this particular tour. So we're going to start anterior and external and see some of the external. We're going to use this one because it's prettier. There's the pinna. And then here's the nostril, not a not a science here. And then these little whiskers are called vibrissae. If we open up the eye, on the medial surface of the eye, we can see right there, I'm going to go ahead and hook it. That membrane I've hooked right there is a necessitating membrane. So open it up, you can see a little bit there. There's the tongue with the fungiform papilla that you don't need for this course. Here we have the hard palate and the soft palate. And the soft palate's been cut to expose the nasopharynx. If we open the mouth even further, we expose the we expose the epiglottis for this little flap right here. The back of the mouth is commonly known as the pharynx. Now the epiglottis covers a hole called the no, I wasn't. called the glottis, and I just tore it. I have it here. We, we can go look at the other pig. All right, if we move that down. That's the glottis. That's the glottis, the opening to the trachea. And the covering is the epiglottis. And that little flap is the epiglottis. Continuing external anatomy, we have placing the coat. Ooh, nice job, guys. We have the mammae. And this is a female. So, looking around the back side, we have the uh, anus, the urogenital opening, and the urogenital papilla. On the male in the same region, we have the anus. Scrotal sacs and the urogenital opening is found posterior to the umbilical cord, right there. And inside we have the penis right here. People look for external anatomy on that, they're not going to find it because it is a fetal pig, not sexually mature. Examining the, um, going back anteriorly, examining the head, here we have the masseter muscle and the parotid gland. Looking at a couple more glands here. We have the thymus gland, and it can be seen. It's multilobed and found on both sides. There it is. There. Looking more posteriorly, we quickly switch to the other pig and hope that the thyroid is better over here. Oh, I keep it. Um, Josie had a good thyroid one. Okay, there's the thyroid right here. It's about the size, shape, and color of a kidney bean. This one is not well exposed, but it's a little bit better than the other pig we got here. This is the larynx right here. That's the voice box, part of the trachea. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the muscles at this point. We're going to go over to boy pig land because he's ripped. <laughs> Starting posteriorly, we can see this muscle right here, slightly covered by that one. This muscle right here is the gastrocnemius. Here we have the biceps femoris. Again, there's a, a layer over the top of it, but you can kind of see the fibers as they travel uh, across the front of the leg. We have, sorry, we have the sartorius muscle right there. We have the triceps over here, triceps brachii, and then we have the deltoid. And if we look on the inside, we have the biceps brachii. Oh, here, here it is. And the pectoral muscle has been cut away. We'll go back to this guy over here. And we can see the pectoral muscle shown, right, superficial pectoral shown right there. And there's another shot of the biceps, probably a little bit better than that one over there. External oblique. We have to find the external oblique, and that's the belly muscle that's found on the outside here. And then we have latissimus dorsi, which is right here. And then we have the trapezius which you can kind of see the motif, it's kind of a, a triangle, and there's two triangles, one on each side, one on the left and one on the right, kind of forming a trapezoid, and that's how that muscle got its name. The deltoid muscle is over the end of the shoulder, right here. It's very similar to in, in position to the triceps brachii, it's a little bit more anterior, and it connects a little bit differently. The membranes around all these muscles, so the reason you can see little fibers here, is because each of those bundles is surrounded by a, a membrane called a fascia. Wait, is that it? Um, yeah.